Hi there, this is Mark Haddad here again. So before we start uh, working on Python and installing Python, and then uh, to show you how you can write the scripts to connect to the network devices to do the network automation, I just want to do this lecture to explain to you a little bit about what is Python and why it's important to learn Python. So Python is a programming language and it is the most popular programming language for now. So that means what? Most of uh, the uh, developer at the, this uh, time, they are using Python in uh, their development on their programming. And uh, if you want, I can just show you, I have a very nice uh, website here, which is about the comparison between the, the uh, programming languages. So if we compare Python to other uh, programming languages like C++, like Java, like PHP, for example, and we see where it sits. So this is the website. It is from Stack Overflow. And uh, I'm going to leave for you this uh, link. So in case you want also to check yourself, you can do that. So if we write here Python, so we take Python. You see Python has started low and now we are by end of 2020, it's very high over here. All right, so let's compare Python, for example, to also a very uh, popular uh, programming language, which is C++. So let's compare to C++ and we can see, look, C++ was high before and now it is really very low compared to Python. If we compare it, for example, to PHP, which is for web development. So we can see also PHP, you see this is the green, it's over there. Look where is Python. Let's compare it to Java, another language, programming language also. So we see Java, the uh, this one, the red, so you can see where it is. So you see Python is really, really much higher. So that's why it's very important that uh, we have to learn Python for the uh, network automation. Of course, in this course, I'm not going to explain to you everything about Python because Python is a course by itself. And uh, if you want a lot of uh, online courses where you can learn Python by itself, like to know everything inside Python. But for this course, I'm going to use Python for the network automation to be able to do something like what I have showed you in the teaser video when we want to work with the MicroTech router. But just for now, I just wanted to show you that why it's important to know Python, because look, where is Python? And look, where are the other, those are really popular ones, but they are very far from Python. So you can see that's why we need to learn something about Python. Now, the other thing that about Python, which is important, is that it is free and open source. It's free. We don't have to buy the programming language, uh, the software to be able to do the programming language of Python. It's free. We can get it. And I'm going to show you how we can do that. And it is also open source. Now, it's developed by a person called Guido van Rossen in late 80s. So this guy, Thank you very much for your work uh, to get for us Python. So he has developed for us the Python in late 80s. Python has a very simple syntax. So compared to other programming languages where it is somehow difficult to understand it, when you read Python syntax, you see that it's not very difficult. You can just understand it, even though you don't have any background knowledge about programming. So if you have already studied programming when you were in university, and uh, that's uh, much easier for you to read Python. But if you didn't do that, and you don't have any experience with programming, then even though you can still read Python and uh, you can understand it because it is more logical way to show you what you need to do. And uh, yeah, it's not very hard to understand the syntax. Now, Python, you don't need to compile the code. It runs on an interactive interpreter. What does it mean? For example, C or C++, in case you are working on those programming languages, you had to compile them. So after you write the script, you click on compile to be able to see the result. While on Python, you have an interactive uh, uh, interpreter. So that's once you make the uh, uh, script, and you can just see directly what is the result of the script. Another good feature about Python, it is available on all platforms like Windows, Mac OS, Linux. So Python is available on all different platforms where you, for example, if you are using Windows, you can use Python. If you are using Linux, you can use Python. If you are using Mac OS, you can use Python. So anywhere on any platform, you can still use Python. Now, 
Python is not used only for the network automation. So uh, you see here, I put here that Python can be used for network automation, which is about this course. So in this course, I'm going to show you how you can use Python for network automation. And uh, specifically, we are working on the Microtech Router OS. All right, so that's a way to be able to configure the Microtech routers in a fast way using the network programmability of Python. But also Python can be used for different ways. For example, for web development, for machine learning, for data analysis, for gaming, games, for desktop applications. So all of those things you can still use Python. So you can develop a website, for example, make web development using Python. That's not a problem. You can make a, a game using Python. Also, that's not a problem. Of course, again, we are not going to go to that direction. What is important for us for this course is just to understand somehow something about Python to be able to make the network automation. So we are not really going to go in deep in uh, about Python, about all things, because Python by itself is a course and it's a really large course. To, if you want to understand everything in Python, that's, that's a course by itself. But it is really... Uh, for me, it's not important. So what I want in this course is just to put you on the track, get for you the important and essential things to be able to connect to the microcrafters on the Python and to do the automation that you want. So that's what is my goal for this course. I'm not going to go through the whole details about Python because that's not really important for now. All right, so this is what I wanted to show you in this lecture, just an idea about what is Python and why it is important to learn Python, especially for network automation. In the upcoming lectures, I have to start making the process to have Python installed on our computer and then after that to see how we can make the uh, script to be able to communicate with the Microtech Router OS. So at the end, to be able to do something like what I have showed you on the teaser video. So this is what I wanted to show you in this lecture. I hope it was informative for you and I'll see you in the upcoming lecture.